Hi there, welcome to the Redwoods. Check out this old tree. These things are magnificent. So pretty. You know, I'm getting stimulated out here by all the oxygen, all the green, We've got brewing, and really just enjoying the day. And so, I mean, it's so important to get outside, move around, get some fresh air. You know, we gotta, we gotta exercise. We gotta exercise for our mind. And you know, I was talking to a couple of my patients and you know, they kind of got in this little funk at the beginning of the year and even through the holidays. And so they're like, yeah, you know, like I haven't been back to the gym, I haven't been working out, I haven't even went on any hikes. And I was like, wow, okay. So, and these are people that are like avid about being healthy and in shape. So, you know, we all get stuck in those funks. We all get into a little slump in every once in a while. You know, that happens. That happens to the best of us. It happens to world-class athletes. You know, and it's not about getting in the slump. It's about getting your mind right so that you can do what you have to do to recognize where you're at. Take time to appreciate where you're at and say, okay, now it's time to go back to work. A great way to kind of stimulate that process is an adjustment. And so if you haven't ever had that, definitely highly recommend that. But getting adjusted, adjust your body, adjust your mindset. Sometimes the last thing that you want to do when you're not feeling well, you know, you get clutter, you get clutter in your mind, you get clutter in your body, it kind of builds up toxicity, congestion. The last thing you want to do is really go out and exercise and move. But that's exactly what we have to do in order to feel better. So we got to take time every day to recognize that, to get outside and appreciate all the colors, appreciate the redwoods, appreciate our health. And if we can't do that, get some help. Have some people hold you accountable. Because, you know, our mental health is what's most important. You know, yeah, if it's, it's nice to look good. It's nice to, to, you know, be able to go and do different sports and activities. But at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, if we don't have our minds, if we can't remember, if we can't, you know, converse with the people that we love and tell them how much we care about them, then what's the point? So we got to get outside. We got to exercise for our mind. You know, go for a little walk. Go for a nice hike. Whenever we do that, we get outside and we move. It gives our mind time to adjust. It gives our mind time to wander and think and organize. We're also increasing the amount of blood flow to our brains. We're getting more oxygen, more nutrient delivery. We're getting more of that old stuff out. And that's the turnover. That's the metabolism. That's what, exactly what we need in order to kind of get out of these slumps, to get out of these funks. And so taking time to do that is so crucial. So we get outside, we move, get our adjustment, and then we go have a really good meal. You know, get some plants, get some of these greens in us. Let that life flow into your body. Take some deep breaths and really just kind of re-nourish your body. Getting all that old stuff out. Hey guys, how's it going? There you go. <laughs> Got a couple people doing it right there. You know, it's so important, so crucial. And you know, that might be the highlight of their day right there. You know, no matter what else goes on, you have that time with yourself, you have that time with nature, time with your friend, you know, if it's a puppy, if it's your workout partner, whatever. But that's accountability. And accountability is what is gonna help us take the proper steps to reach our dreams, reach our goals. So if, you know, if you haven't set goals for 2019, don't worry about it. It's only halfway through, you know, January. And so a lot of people, you know, might have already broken their New Year's resolutions. So taking time to get back on that train. You know, if you slump a little bit, if you get in the funk a little bit, it's all good. Get back on that horse. Keep moving. Keep thinking. Keep talking. Keep exploring. Get outside. Enjoy yourself. Hi. Hello, hello. We got some amazing people here in Santa Cruz really appreciating this stuff so yeah movement is life move that old stuff out move the new stuff in get adjusted eat some good food get stimulated hold yourself accountable 
you just had a great day and you turn a corner on that slump that you might have been in. So you guys want to hit me up, PM me. I'm taking bookings. You know, January and February is filling up. If you're in California, let's jump on this train. Let's get everybody moving. You know, it's very simple. You know, you're not that far away. You're not that, you know, it's, it's not, it, you know, whenever you're stuck, it feels like, you know, the whole world's coming down on you. And I know how that feels, but you're not that far. It doesn't take that much. Sometimes the biggest block in the road is just the one that's right in front of you when you're getting started. And so once you got that momentum, you got people holding you accountable and you feel good doing what you're doing, man, the sky's the limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I absolutely hope that you have a wonderful day and get outside and enjoy yourself. It's beautiful, it's 2019. Don't forget to you know, get adjusted, upgrade your body, get some of that old stuff out and allow your nervous system to adapt because we gotta think, what's the nervous system's job? I mean, the nervous system isn't perfect, but its job is to intake information and put that into a system called our brain that can compute it and allow us to make decisions that's going to be best for our survival. So if there's a barrier, if there's blockage in that information coming into the brain, maybe your sensory information coming in from, you know, the, the body coming up the spinal cord to the brain isn't functioning the way it's supposed to. Maybe it's not moving well. Maybe it's not conducting well. You know, that, that's going to inhibit and that's going to alter your perception of the reality that you're perceiving. And so how are you able to make the best decisions? How are you able to make the best progress and be able to, you know, analyze your situation the best if the information you're receiving is incomplete? So we got to take time for that too. Get adjusted, move your body, eat well, keep living the dream.